Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And I am back with another garden project. So this video is going to be a little strange because I actually started it last year. So last year, if you saw, we hung my brand new window boxes and filled them with budget pro budget friendly plants for the first year. I've done a very similar planting this year, um, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is that after a year of hand watering these window boxes, ooh, look at that bee, all season, all season last year, um, we finally got the drip installed. So they are automatic on drip, all cinnamon. Let's not go in the garden, honey, come here. Cinnamon, my little dachshund friend, is out here with me today. She's still learning to be off leash, unlike Biddy, so she just wants to go hang out amongst the plants, but her leash gets really tangled. Anyways, so last year, we actually, when we hung these window boxes, when we filled them for the first time, mom preemptively outfitted them all with drip coming down through the drain holes so that once we finally got the drip system installed, we could just pop those bad boys into the half inch um, poly tubing down at the bottom and they would be on drip. So last week, I will link to that video, mom and I set up drip to the window boxes, to everything on the front porch, to my potted sweet peas out in the garden, to my vegetable stock tank garden, to everything that I've been having hand water for the whole last season mainly because we are going out of town <laughs> for 21 days in August. And while my brother is going to be here house sitting for me, so the house will not be empty, the dogs will be taken care of, he is not going to come out and hand water all of these things. He's, he's great, but he's not quite that great. And I don't expect him to, it's a lot of work. So today I'm going to be going back in time to the footage we shot last year of when we set these babies up with drip the first time and then I will come back to the present and I will show you how we connected them to the drip system and and you're getting a sneak peek of the window boxes because when I planted these I will link to the plant video 20 days ago we had little tiny baby plants and when I told you these bubble gums this is super tunia vista bubble gum by proven winners they go crazy, they go crazy. Now the, oh, you can see the verbena looks great. And I picked verbena because it's, it can keep up with the bubble gum. But this is what I'm talking about with budget planners. Like this is 20 days worth of growth. By the end of the season, these guys are going to be filled in. We only have a few little ones like here. Like this was my one little verbena that I was really worried about. And he's, I mean, he's got a bloom. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six stalks coming off from where I trimmed them back from two. He had two stalks when we started. So he's getting there, you know? And we're just gonna get started because at this point I'm just talking about the pretty plants. Let's go ahead, let's go back in time to last year and then we will come back and I will give you the final tour. Ready, Cinnamon? You wanna show them the window boxes? She says, I'm not on camera, Mom. All right, y'all, so here's a window box. We're gonna open it up. This is one of the medium sizes, so it's 36 inches long, so it's pretty big. Um, but the, the bigger ones are 48 inches, so they are even bigger. But this is how they come. Dun, dun, dun. So we've got the window box and we've got all three brackets. And then this is just packing to keep it sturdy in here so it doesn't get hurt. Although they're stainless steel, so I don't know exactly what would happen to it. But let's go ahead and take it out. The box, there's the first bracket. So you just kind of Flip the brackets off the bottom here, and then they unclip from the top. And that's how they sit on the wall as well. So here are our instructions. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. 
here is our actual window box. All right, y'all, so we are going to go ahead and get this baby ready for drip. So this is our quarter inch black poly tubing. You can see it doesn't have any holes. We are going to run this through one of the drain holes so that we can have drip in this water box, which drip, if you're not familiar, is a fancy way to say some tubing that has holes in it and will water your plants so that you don't have to do it every day. Directly at the roots. Directly at the roots, yes. So we already cut these from the bottom of the window box to the ground, which is where we will access our larger drip tube. Um, this is for this part. Mm -hmm. So this is a double-sided coupler. We are going to put it right in the bottom of our hose. So this is coming out the bottom here. We're going to put this baby in. You gotta push a little hard and twist, but eventually you'll hear it kind of pop and snug in there. It, on this it doesn't pop. Mom says on this it doesn't pop. Pops in the big one. Only pops on the big one, but you can see that that's tight. Yeah, so nice. then we will show you once we run the larger tubing how we connect to this. But for now, we're just doing the window box. So now inside the window box, we have another set of quarter inch drip tubing, but this brown one has emitters. emitters. So you can see right here, they're just little holes every 12 inches, and this is what's gonna drip the actual water onto the roots of your plants. And we don't want it to be at the bottom of the window box, we want it to be at the top, so it goes down through the dirt. And it is already set to be a loop around the whole box with a T-coupler. Put that in the exact same way as the double barbed coupler at the bottom. And now we're going to connect this to our black poly tubing so that it's a solid loop all the way around and the water goes everywhere except for through the tubing. The knots out here are horrible today. You have more finger strength that might go faster, but uh, it's not easy. But it's not easy. We're just doing that in the next video, Mom. So now we will take this over. We are going to actually fill the window box and plant it on the ground so that we don't have to do it up in the air. You may find it easier to do it in the air. We're gonna do it on the ground. And then we will show you exactly how we connect this to our timer, to our larger hose, and we'll show you how it works. But for now, let's go ahead and fill this baby up. If you wanna see how we mounted them, I will leave a link below to how to actually install the window boxes with the brackets on your house. And I will also leave a link to the next step, which is planting them with inexpensive plants that will really fill out your window box for not a lot of money. I think I paid about $70 for plants for all six window boxes, yeah. which is pretty good. So if you wanna see how we planted them and what I picked, Click on that link. For now, we're going to take da, 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 our finished window box over and show you how to connect this into the drip. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and connect this tubing to the half inch tubing down here. Let me just cut it to make it fit. Oops, I dropped my little coupler. All right, there we go. And then put this right on here. I'm gonna pop the hole right here. It's not hard, just a little tedious. And then we just pop it in there and that's it. And then you just put the tubing where you want it. Okay, so we are back to the present. And you saw mom went ahead and popped these babies in. So they connect right down here. I am thinking, so I've got one, the drip tube, 
and it's pretty close to the house. It could just be buried, but I've got three other hoses that go to that side of the house. I am thinking eventually I would like to bury them, um, maybe in a big PVC pipe, but that is a project for another day. I never want to bury a hose until I'm sure it's working properly. So anyways, the drip comes up. Well, comes from my faucet. I hate the way my faucet looks, but it's mainly hidden, right, cinnamon, by all the pretty flowers. So it's only when you're back here in the maintenance channel that you see it. So it comes down from the faucet, comes over here, and I'm just, I'm going to show you real quick the actual timer. So here's the actual timer connected to the house and right here, cinnamon, is the actual drip, um, the backflow filter, the PSI regulator, all that jazz. So from here it comes down, it goes left and right so that these window boxes are also on drip and then it comes over and so you can see all along where all uh, three of the window boxes are connected so where it comes up right here and then it comes up here's my sad little verbena but you can see all that growth since i cut it back it comes up i'll cover it for you there's the t we put in so then it couples from this t left and right and it goes all the way around and you can tell I have not been I've not been watering these babies for at least a week the drip has been doing it all and they are loving it it's working great which is perfect because I have other things to do like clean up some of these messes <laughs> but anyways that is how you put a window box on drip it is very very simple if you don't have drip holes in the bottom of your planter, you can easily make some. Just drill up through the bottom. It is worth it. And then you have pretty plants that do occasionally need a little bit of deadheading, but no water. And the bubble gum, that is another reason I love the bubble gum. This Supertunia Vista bubble gum does not need bubble does not need bubble gumming, does not need deadheading. It is a self-cleaning flower. The verbena, on the other hand, does need occasional deadheading. So, you know, stay on top of it. Either way, I am very happy with how this turned out. I'm very proud of my little window boxes. They turned out really pretty last season with the flowers I planted. You can get a really good look at them in my palette path makeover, but I will put some pictures from when we planted them up in the original footage that you saw when we plumbed them for the drip. And then I will put some pictures on the screen now of what they looked like at the end of the season. I never got great shots, but I'll put what I have. And then this is what, what they look like now, 20 days after planning for this season. So bye y'all.